What's up YouTube? My name is Dave and welcome to my show Top Dave DC. Today I'm doing a segment called Unboxing with Dave and I'm going to be unboxing the model 2011 Fossil Coachman. Um, so let's get started. So the Fossil watch comes in this wonderfully designed tin casing. Um, it has pretty decent looking graphics. I got the one with the keys and it's unpredictable what kind of design you would get. I was hoping for a bicycle design, but I'm fine with the keys as well. So it has a lot of round soft edges, which is good, not sharp and pointy. It is made out of tin, so you gotta be careful. You might dent it like I did. I don't know how, I think I pressed on it somehow. Too strong. But as you can see, it is fossil. And a bunch of keys, that is the tag and I have the model number right there CH2891 if you guys are interested in this one as well so let's go ahead and open it let's see what's inside like any other case it comes with its own booklet which has its usual guidelines and warranty stuff there's no like how to and how you're using a watch because you don't really need it. It's just register and whatever, the mumbo jumbo, usual stuff. I don't need to go through them because it's pretty straightforward and easy. Easy. So as you can see, that is how the watch looks. It looks really beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you guys that I've been wearing the watch for like the past couple of weeks now just to like have a look, see and feel. And I will definitely tell you like this watch is really, really impressive. I gotten like really good remarks and comments from people just around me and they really like it. Uh, they like how it looks, the aesthetics, you see how it has like a black dial, stainless steel um, casing all around. It is waterproof, it goes up to 10 ADM which amounts to 100 meters or 330 feet. So this is how the watch looks. It has leather straps, leather cuffs, um, made from genuine calfskin strap leather. Bandwidth is 22 millimeters and it has the feature of interchangeability. If you guys don't like the design, you could always change it as long as it has the requirement of 22 millimeter bandwidth it has a strap on buckle like this um, like I mentioned 20 um, stainless steel casing with uh, 44 millimeter diameter I'm assuming it's just an estimated amount I didn't actually measure it to check it but it's an approximation I'm assuming um, it is water resistant like I mentioned and it, it's running the movement process is analog quartz with analog display, meaning you have to change the battery every probably like three years, I guess. I'm assuming. So I just got this recently, and it's pretty. I haven't had the chance to like change the battery. So um, besides that, uh, it does tell time, which is a good thing. <laughs> the main thing, right? and pretty nice looking design is has a three chronograph subdials the hours the minutes the seconds and also a date window right here uh, one problem i saw on the date window is when it when if you have a date that has like on a calendar date that has like 31 days and some calendar days you don't have 31 days or 30 days the date window um, continues on to 31 or 38 even though the calendar day does not have that much that much amount of days in it if you get what I'm saying so you got to tweak it all the time so that's annoying so I hope they would have fixed that but besides that I got this watch because of its nice look looking design I was looking at like, a lot of videos online and didn't find any videos that were really helpful to me as in like getting the actual look of it and just having like a stable hand I guess 
just to show the product itself how beautiful it looks so I've been wearing this for a week, about a week now like I told you guys and it's pretty decent um, I won't recommend you guys taking this to like swimming or anything like that because it's leather it will get dirty which I did a little bit but not a whole lot um, it is waterproof so if you guys want to test it do try and test it out uh, besides that it also has this feature called the tachymeter if you guys don't know what it is it's right there I'm trying to focus there but I think it's too small you can't see it okay a tachymeter is the scale inscribed around the rim of an analog watch any analog watch I'm not saying all most of them do have it it's used to compute speed based on time travel or travel time or you could use it to measure distance based on speed um, yeah so it's not really helpful to me because uh, it's too small and I don't want to squint to like look at it and put it like up close to my face but I do usually use the timer and the chronograph uh, we'll turn it on right now to see to show you guys how it works see the second how it moves correspondingly I'm actually taking a video using my phone so I only have like one hand to hold the camera and the watch so bear with me guys so once you see that the uh, the second goes around so like full 60 seconds you'll see the top left uh, dial move once meaning it's one minute so it keeps track up to like 60 or 30 minutes I guess no it's 30 minutes yeah and you'll see that move but the small hand dial is blocking it so just be really really see if it does work so it did move but I don't know if you guys noticed it I'm gonna stop it right now and I am gonna push this button right here to make it go back see that uh, Cool, so that is how the watch looks. You can see the design, the look, genuine leather, really good design. It tells you, that there are some engravings in the back, it tells you its model number, the depth rating of it, and yeah. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna pause the video and show you guys how it looks on my hand. So this is how the watch looks when I put it on. It looks really, really nice. As you can tell, I have like a lot of hair, but ignoring that, it still looks pretty awesome. Especially when I wear like matching clothes, earthy tones. It's really nice. It looks way better in real life than on screen. And yeah, so if you guys like this video and want to leave any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. And I'm also going to do another video on helping you guys how to decide on what type of watch to buy so stay tuned for that one um, cool see you guys next time again this is me Dave signing off from Top Day VC